Now we're going to look at the star or the stars, which is the self-reported transcript in academic record system. So this is where we're basically going to to put in all of the information that we find in focus. We're pretty much going to put our transcript um, in here. So you can get to the stars a couple different ways. It'll link from the Common App. It'll link from the university website. Um, and then on the back end of this, we'll end up linking our stars to our Common App. Stars is not required or used by every school or university, but it is used by Florida and Florida State. Um, as well as uh, a couple of other schools um, that we see here, Clemson, FAM, FAU, Florida Polytechnic, um, the, the Florida schools, not even all of the Florida schools, South Florida, but the ones that we find ourselves, uh, most of our students are, are applying to UNFs on there um, are using the STARS. So um, I have already created an account and, and started an account. Um, so I am going to uh, go ahead and log in here. But of course, uh, we would just go to create stars account um, if we were looking to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get logged in here. I can do this later. Um, remember, even if you are a dual enrollment student, you are a freshman and first year applicant. Um, we can we can add our colleges here later um, if we choose to. I'm going to go ahead and just add the University of Florida. Um, I have already added um, my high school, which is Fernandina Beach High School. Um, so I've already started that. Again, I've done a little bit in here already. Um, and so I'll begin here. So it asks a couple of questions. Um, you know, when, when's your graduation? Um, we don't still don't have a graduation date. It's the time I'm doing this. I'm anticipating it being in May. Um, for dates of attendance here, Current seniors would have started in August of 22 um, and are going to graduate in May of 26. Now, oops. if I were um, a new student, um, or had transferred into FBHS at some point in my high school career, um, I might add uh, a second high school, okay, uh, which, which uh, you could do that uh, in here. We go to add another school. All of your grade, let's say you went to Camden County High School for your freshman year, okay, so you could click here, add another school, um, uh, and and fill fill that in with there. Um, all of your Camden County High School credits would appear on your FBHS transcript, though. We transfer those credits in. Um, sometimes we have to call them maybe a little bit of a different name than what they might have been at your previous school, but um, but it it is they are on your transcript. Um, I, I think you can probably, but as a result, you can probably get away with just using FBHS uh, on here. I suppose the right thing to do is to use your other one. But ultimately, the schools just want to know what classes that you took and, and how you did in them. So, um, again, as I've said before with the Common App, um, and I'll consider STARS is not technically part of the Common App, but for all intents and purposes, it's part of your college application and, and it's going to be attached to the common app. So it kind of is, um, in a sense. So don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff. Okay. I plan to graduate from the school. Yeah. Hope so. Okay. Um, and then grading scale, how are we going to input these? Um, you can 
uh, I would probably put in the numbers because that's what's on there. Now, this is a question that I get a lot. Final grades are provided as. So uh, because of that pesky EOC, your Algebra 1, Geometry, Biology, and U.S. History classes are going to appear as a full year but everything else is going to appear as a semester grade. So I'm going to uh, select semester, um, put our GPA and class rank. Okay. Um, again, this is available on focus. This is very easy to see on focus. Um, just going to make up some numbers here. Whatever you see on focus, you can put in there. <laughs> class rank. Um, we do not publish uh, your weighted rank. Okay, so you can check this box. Um, and then whatever the rank is that you see in focus is you're going is going to be your unweighted rank. So you can just type that in. Just make sure you check the right, right box. Tell them what you're doing. So that's there. And then the school counselor, um, you can put, uh, this is where you would put me in there. And then what this does um, is, well, um, it, it kind of attaches um, your common app to me. You don't have to put an extension, but that's 2606. You know that whole thing. Okay. So once we have all that stuff in, then we are going to start with our coursework. Okay. So there is a tool here that you can that you can uh, use some stuff. Uh, I have not used this yet, um, so I'm not sure uh, how effective it is, but uh, of course, you're welcome to try that. We've, we've put uh, some of these things in here. Um, uh, we've got our counselor in here, um, and then you just, you just go to it right here. Um, again, if you took maybe Algebra 1 in the eighth grade, uh, that's going to go here, or maybe if you took Hope online or something, you can put that there. Um, but once you go to town here, um, you're just going to type these things in. For those EOC courses, Algebra 1 and, and everything else, let's say that you got an 88 in Algebra 1. Um, since that's going to appear as, uh, as a year long, okay, you can just change that here and then you'll have the opportunity to, to do that. So you're just gonna go through, you're just gonna add all these courses, keep adding courses, keep adding courses, just copy everything in from, uh, from your transcript. Um, let's see if it lets us move past all this. We don't publish GPAs by year, um, so you can, we don't do an annual GPA. We don't have like a, your GPA is always cumulative um, that you see. So it always represents everything you've done in high school. It's not broken down by year. I'm just gonna move through, whoops. I'm just gonna move through this stuff. All right. So that's how um, you enter your coursework. And then for scores, um, again, you're going to uh, type those scores in. Um, you call it, most of the colleges probably, I mean, they're, they'll, they'll take a look at these, but they probably are going to want you to send their scores directly from the testing services themselves rather than, than take your word for that. You can upload score reports here. Uh, you can down, you can go into your College Board account or your ACT account, and you can you can um, 
access those. Um, I would caution you against using screenshots. Um, I have had students who have tried to send me their SAT scores and have just used screenshots, uh, which don't include your name and a bunch of other stuff. That's not what they, they want here. Um, they want the actual score report, which should have your first and last name um, and a good breakdown of, of those SAT scores. So if you are going to upload documents here, uh, that is, is the way you probably probably want to do that. All right, so that's a little bit about the SARS. I can't show you all of this. Uh, it can be it can be a bit tedious, but once you um, once you have all those things uh, entered, then this is where uh, ultimately you'll go and you'll submit everything. Um, and uh, this is kind of the the last piece here of the coming up and your application.